Hey everybody, this is Airliner Dude 12, and today I'm going to show you how to balance three types of flying wings a rectangular wing, our new Flugel, and a Delta, my personal favorite. Okay, let's start off with the simplest one first. A rectangular wing is probably the most simplest wing of all. Um, I've never seen any videos on YouTube of one. Um, I don't know, I might spark some ideas here. But, um, yeah, uh, take the center of the length, wingspan, and then take the center of the width, and make sure it's in the middle, like the, the middle of this, the middle of that, the middle of that, and the middle of that one, and then balance it until it, until you can balance it on your finger on that point. <clears throat> now, the formulas for most flying wings like this are um, center of gravity has to be 25% back from the leading edge or if it's one of these it has to be back from the 25% um, of the um, wing root the wing root cord or whatever um, yeah flying rectangles <laughs> pretty easy that's like a baby step now here's the intermediate <clears throat> A Nerf Flugel, or yeah, uh, I've had best luck with balancing it in the middle as well, but for a remote control, it has to be at least 30% from the um, from the um, wing root cord. It has the um, you can also find the mean aerodynamic cord to find the geometrically um, calculated aircraft center so it's pretty crazy um I'll, ex I'll, I'll, I'll explain to you what I did to find that on the delta wing because for the deltas it's a lot more than these in the rectangles it's basically the expert flying wing here we go the delta wing um, okay this is gonna take a while to explain First, you measure and find the center of the um, wing tip cord, and then you find it of the wing root cord. That's the center of the entire thing. And you'll draw a line that'll go up to the midpoint to the midpoint, and that'll be your basic line to find the aerodynamic cord. Now, what you want to do is take the length of this. This is best if you have a computer program. Remember that. If you have a computer program, you can take the length of this and then have that um, go up from the wing tip and make, oh, quick thing. Make sure when you measure this, include your elevons because that will, um, that's, that counts as a part of your wing because it will deliver like wash out or whatever to the plane that you'll have to adjust your center of gravity if you don't do it but um yeah take the take a big ruler or whatever this is 19 inches what I had to do like probably take a slab of this and put it on the floor going up 19 and then you take this was like uh, six or five inches and then you do that from the um, trailing edge and then you connect those with like a, I had like a big 37 inch um, basically a stainless steel ruler and I, f I got this right here that was my mean aerodynamic cord that's where all the air is basically going to be focused on the wing um, and what you want to do is you want to draw a straight line down and then here's the tricky part which most people don't get only from this line that you just made up um, go back 25% from the leading edge of that line, not the entire thing, just from that line. And then put a straight line horizontally from that, and that will be your aircraft center in the middle. That look, Put a little dot. Um, the aircraft center is basically where the motor is located, because that's where mm, not all of it will be focused on that. But I like to make mid wings. They're a lot, you know, they're a lot more stable a little bit, I think. Um, and 
One more thing. This is the last step and then you've got a flying wing. When you find the aircraft center, um, measure from the center to the tip of the wing root cord of the leading edge and then 10% up from the um, aircraft center put a point and that is where your wing has to balance on your finger to be able to fly. Like um, I threw it without the battery the battery weighs about 74 grams. I threw it like that and most of the weight seems like it would be focused. I threw it and it stalled and it tumbled. I put the battery on the front and it balanced right on that tip and then I just threw it and it glided down perfectly and it, it flies even better. Um, I'll have a video of that prob up probably next week. Um,